All right, moving on. All right. This yeah. is a you though. This is a username. I don't even know. Uh, whatever it is. Sorry, yeah. can't pronounce it. Um, pen battle. Which pens function better as a pen? I don't know. If you could mix it up, if you guys do more than once. Okay. All right. So this was pretty uh, a pretty open to interpretation question, but it did get me <laughs> sure. thinking about how in the past mm. we have had pen battle we have, videos, yeah, and uh, they've mm -hmm. been pretty fun. So I've got four potential debates here. Uh, Metropolitan versus Pilot Explorer, Twisby Swipe versus Lamy Safari, Pilot Custom 74 versus Sailor 1911, Ooh. or Twisby VAC 700 versus Pilot Custom 823. I will do any of these. You can pick a side, I can pick a side, and we'll just, we'll just, we'll just riff. All right, let's do, I kind of like the idea of making one of us argue against the thing that we're really kind of known for. All right, well, I could, let's, I let's. Could, I could argue against the 74, that'd be kind of fun. All right, let's argue against the 74. Okay. All right. So you'll be pro 74. Pro 74. I'm pro 1911. There you go. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay. All right. Well, first things first, let me, let's talk affordability. The, how dare you? The Custom 74, way more affordable <laughs> than the 1911s. Even the small one, it's still a better deal to get a 74. What say you? Um, okay. We're just going to go like point by point like this? Sure, whatever. If you have any points. Uh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> a little trash talking here. I mean, I'll come up with some points real quick. We'll see. Um, you know, money's not everything, Drew. Uh, That's what I'll say. Mm. And uh, I'll say, uh, you know, uh, it's it's in the eye of the be beholder. Boy, this is tough. Um, okay. <laughs> so what I will say is that, yeah, okay, the Pilot Custom 74 is... <laughs> Said more affordable. <laughs> I'm stalling. <laughs> it is more affordable, but you get a huge range of options for the 1911. So you get a variety of sizes. The nib options you have are tremendous. Mm, that's true. And the color options, like they're coming out with new stuff all the time. So part of what you're paying for is innovation. Mm -hmm. Custom 74, it's a lot more limited. It's pretty much, I mean, they got a few colors, but it's it's a little bit more take it or leave it. With Sailor, you got a lot more options. They do, but let me talk about how wonderful the Con 70 converter is. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about this Con 70, Drew. That's so good. It's, it's uh, yeah, I'd love to hear more about that. It's got a button. <laughs> it does have a button. Sometimes it's works. It's a very unique design. Yeah. Uh, no, um, in capacity, <laughs> uh, the okay. Pilot Con 70 converter dwarfs the Sailor converter or the cartridge in ink capacity. Okay. Even okay. if you feel the need to syringe fill it, you still get a massive ink capacity. It's true. And it does come with that pen, so... I can't discount that. It does, and you get it packaged in. You do. And yes, new colors might not come out quite as often as Sailor, but they do come out. The Custom 74 is one of Pilot's most, uh, you know, they pay attention to that model more so than others in terms of giving it new colors here and there. They have done something new with it ever. Yeah. Yeah. That's some, <laughs> to, comparatively, that uh -huh. is that is quite a lot. Yeah. Comparatively, it is the yeah. most the widest variety in the in the pilot line, the most frequently updated. Well, in the custom line, I think. Yeah, yeah oh, the definitely. vanishing point. The vanishing point is more variety. Once a year, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's that. I will say okay. it's very comfortable. Uh, the grip section is very very comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's easy to disassemble. Very okay. reliable to disassemble. Sure. Strong friction fit feed and nib. You always you can set the nib right in that little channel of the feed. Always get it in the perfect. You don't need to have it in a certain orientation. It goes in any way. Mm -hmm. It's resilient, not going to accidentally break anything off. So it stands up to a lot of repeated cleanings mm -hmm. and uh, beautiful jewel tone transparencies. Yeah, you do get that. You do get that. Um, 1911s, I think, um, if you're talking about... <clears throat> Well, I'm not going to represent anything you just talked about. The nib options, not just in terms of the size, but the color, like the bicolor nibs are stunning on those sailors. I think aesthetically, if they you like that sort really of thing, really nail it. If you're, if you're into if things you, like if aesthetics. If you like that sort of thing, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, absolutely. You can definitely get some like jewel tone, kind of like clearish ones, or you can get ones that aren't. If you what like if you to wanted a, what if you wanted pen. something that was not a bunch of weird colors though, like the simplicity they of have, the Custom 74, one uniform color with just some subdued smoke end caps and grip section. That is uniform. It doesn't scream. Look at me. You can get that on the sailors. No, it's you either get... it's either black and boring or ostentatious and obnoxious. Oh, that's not true. Uh, Just look at our stealth purple that we can't. Well, that's a pro year technically. It's not 1911, mm -hmm. so that's a bad example. Get out of here with that. Uh, you can talk okay. about the wicked witch. Wicked witch. That one. That one's that one's a pen. That's in there. 
There's others too. That yeah, I maybe don't a few. remember offhand. Yeah, maybe a few. You kind of get all kinds of options. Still but. though, you could get two custom seventy fours. Well, maybe not two, but mm, well, didn't they just increase their prices? They through? did. They're not they quite did. as affordable as they. That's used what Pilot to has be. going for it, Brian. Is consistency. You cannot <laughs> deny that the Pilot nib, the gold. Pilot nib is one of the most consistent writers in the industry today. It is a dang fine nib. I can't <laughs> I can't argue against that. It is it is okay. So if you like this is so hard because I do prefer that nib. Uh if you like a really good writing smooth soft nib, then yeah, that is a good one. But maybe you don't like that and you want a stiffer <laughs> nib. That's also really good. It just feels a little different. A little like and, a toothpick. Yeah, but not a th- no, no, no. Like no, a no. toothpick on a piece of paper. No, no, no. Okay, if you want to be like slipping and sliding all over the page, <laughs> like you're trying to go to an ice skating rink at King's <laughs> Dominion with blades that are just like cut in a square, <laughs> then yeah, that's that's fine. You mm. can do that. But if you want to like know exactly where you are on the page at all times and you want to feel grounded in your writing and like you can just like pivot like on a dime mm-hmm. then then that bite that you get that little bit of bite that you, you get like with sailor bite. it's yeah. like yeah it's like the ice skate that's just like cutting into that ice mm-hmm. I feel like you can just you know do a triple axel like any moment any, at any moment yeah that's, that's what you get you yeah. know that's how it happens I'm, I'm sold yeah uh, when you go back into your office all your custom 74s are going to look at you like what have you done I feel like you betrayed us how dare you i'm really trying here trying here all right well, they, just, they well, write differently they write differently that's all they're great pens sure okay okay but but the bro- i would say the the bigger you go so if you get up to like a king of pens then you're getting more to that like softer feel so you you get a range depending on you know which type of that's writing true. experience you want you can get more of that softer feel or you can get a little bit yeah. stiffer i mean that's true the pilot custom custom 74 does not need to compensate for its interest by offering three different styles of itself it's <laughs> it's confident and secure in its own that's right self yeah so that it knows the, it knows it's enough yes because that custom heritage 92 is like that's so not a 74 oh, that's not we're yeah. talking about the 74 and the 1911 brian uh-huh. yeah oh yes they're so vast you're oh, you're pens. saying that's different right. numbers what's a 92 yeah, i don't about know the, the custom 742 like that's, those are different. that's a different that's a 43 that's a completely well. different number yeah those completely. are different if you've numbers, got 70, 74 of something and 743 <laughs> of something they're not the same you know, those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones there, Drew. What? The, so who's glass houses? Pilot, like, pilot's pens. Uh, they got some. They got some ones that look pretty ah, similar to some others. Bah humbug. It's not just sailor. All right. Okay. Have we concluded anything here? I think that uh, we have concluded <laughs> that uh, they're well, both excellent. They're both really good. This is really hard to argue against any yeah. of them, but yeah, they really are just different pens. But anyway, both great. Yeah, both great. Oh yes. So okay. anyway, I don't know if that was helpful at all. Do you want to do, you want to do another one or be done with this one? <laughs> we so. can try another one if you want. If people like how awkward this is. All we right. We can do that. Do you want to do another? Do you want to do one where we like feel a little more strongly about it? Or do you I want mean, to, I could destroy. you want to keep I it could, awkward? I could destroy you uh, if you go Lami Safari and I go swipe. All right. Let's do it then. All right. Let's go. All right. Now we're back in our own camp. Okay. Here. Okay. You want to kick it off? They're both. Are they, are they both the same price? They're close, yeah. Okay. Safari is uh, well. This you know, swipe might be a little bit less. It's it's really comparable. Yeah, I know they're pretty close. I know a lot of prices. Okay. Swipe, swipe is, is 26, not twenty. Yeah, and the, the Safari is like twenty seven sixty or something. So okay. it's pretty pretty. So much how many point. converters does the uh, Safari come with, huh? Uh, For that price, depends how many you add on. <laughs> <laughs> As many as you want. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, you know what? The Twisby got some to spare if you need some because yeah, okay. the Twisby comes with not one, but mm-hmm. two converters um, uh-huh, uh-huh. for the same price or a little bit cheaper, as well as a very large converter a car- cartridge. Yeah. Not, not trying to say it's better, you know, sizes and everything, but yeah. uh-huh. uh, it does have oh, yeah, okay. a much larger cartridge. Yeah. And you can get in, like any com- color you want as long as it's black, right? You know, that's the. Uh, uh, sure. Just like Lamy <laughs> has any color you want. Like, Lamy's got all blue. They got all kinds of colors. It's got like, the cartridge got, like seven blue. times the colors that you can All right. Get. <laughs> and then the Twisby swipe also comes in a re sealable carrying hard shell case, whereas the okay. Safari is a flimsy. 
yeah. somewhat see-through cage of paper. Oh, okay. So you're cool with just like having extra plastic that ends up in the ocean because you're definitely not carrying I'm not that. throwing it away. I don't it's not you, ending up in the I ocean. I don't see you carrying it's that case my, around my, with you everywhere. I do because it comes with so much crap. I have to store it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. So we I do... have to keep my spring <laughs> and my random pieces. Okay, yes. So, if so yes, I do have to keep the... it. <laughs> so if there's one thing I love, it's a bunch of extra parts and pieces to keep around with my pen. You get, it's bang for your buck, I'm man. I'm most definitely going to keep bang track of all that and uh, be able to maintain that over time. If right? you don't have a spring to hold your cartridge in place, where is it going to yeah. go? Well, Who knows what would happen? And why would you need extra springs? Is that for when you like lose them? Oh, no, because it comes with one spring. Them <laughs> but you don't need it if you have uh, one of the other two converters okay, happening fair enough. there. So just there's uh, giving ex and extemporaneous springs. I will there. say, I will say, they both have <laughs> pretty horrendous clips in their own ways. What clips? I mean, they look like clips, but they certainly aren't clips. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I'm saying the Safari and the. The oh, swipe, the Safari like, is at least functional. Safari it, is functional. It might be a chonky paperclip, yeah. but it will <laughs> at least hold a pen onto it will, a thing. It will go into <laughs> fabric. The uh, yeah. You know, the swipe doesn't have a clip. It's yeah. basically the same clip as the Pelicano Jr. has, which is just welded to the cap and not even a clip. It's like a little piece of plastic that just kind of curves upward at the end. Yeah, I actually just snapped the clip off my Pelicano Jr. I thought it didn't really have a clip. <laughs> it doesn't really. I was trying to just take it out of my pen case and the, the clip part just like grabbed on to the, 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 the elastic band and it just snapped right off. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, the swipe so, doesn't have It's not really about the swipe. No, no, no. Because at least a swipe clip is metal. So you got that going for you. It, it, yeah, it does. So. Um, but as far as an entry level pen goes, the swipe is better because it comes with a bunch of different filling options. You could go straight bottle ink. You can start mm -hmm. off with a cartridge if you want to. Yeah. You can graduate to the fun little uh, um, pumpy converter, which is what mm -hmm. the Con70 should be. But oh, well, uh, let's not cross over into yeah. other other territories I'm here. Saying it was, let's, it's keep it, let's keep it between the Safari and the Swipe. Okay? All right, I'm just saying it's 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 a <laughs> uh, it's a uh, it's a mover and a shaker is what it is. Okay, it is a disruptor. Yeah. Okay. Is that why it's been uh, one of the top selling pens for the last uh, forty years? Give it time. <laughs> time will tell. <laughs> I don't think time is going to tell. Time will tell. That Safari. I don't know. There's a reason why they come out with. A batch of them every year for these special editions. That's just because big, big fountain pen is behind them. Big fountain pen. Big fountain pen. What is big it's, fountain? It's pen? all. It's all. Are we big fountain pen? No, it's no Lamy. Some people Lamy's the machine, man. They, 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 Lamy's the man. They do have a lot of machines. And I will say that Twisby's the young wolf. Twisby's been around for a minute. I mean. It's fun. They've been making pens for like 50 years, but just the Twisby brand yeah. is like 12 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. But uh, right. more fun out of the box. Ooh, I don't know about that. You mm. know what? It's fun swapping nibs, getting spare nibs, black nibs, calligraphy oh, okay. nibs. You know, that's pretty yeah. fun. You know that's what's fun, fun is uh, being able to get your feed back <clears throat> in your pen without borking it. Uh, which... Which pen are you knocking on that front? Because uh, the Safari or the All Star or <laughs> anything with that feed, because if you put it in the wrong way, bricked. Uh, well, you can't brick a Twisby unless you, you unless you rip the fins off. Rip all the, the fins the, off. The, there's no flimsy fins. Okay. Happening on the lobby. All right. Well. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Stay I was gonna say, be, be careful there because okay. uh, Twisby, Twisby, you know, you know, they, they're, they're pretty solid. It, would, it still works with the screwed up fins, though. It still functions. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The, the ink channel still intact. Yeah. If You're you, just if not... you jam the if you jam the uh, the Lamy feed in there the wrong way. Yeah, that's not going to be good for you. But you don't have to take that feed out. There's no reason to, unless you you know accidentally do it, which then you got to be careful putting it back in. Yeah, that definitely. I'll happens. give you that. I'll and you, you that. can change the nib on the swipe. You just need to buy one from a Twisby Mini, to, <laughs> which costs as much as a swipe. Yes. <laughs> you basically have to buy another swipe. Yes, uh, with no pen attached to it. But then you get a whole bunch of springs yes! and converters <laughs> to go along with it. So <laughs> that's so uh, cool. Yeah. Just think of it as you're buying a nib and you get a whole bunch of extra stuff. There you go. Yeah, that's 100%, cool. 100%. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, how about all those great colors that they have in the uh, swipe? Oh. Uh, you know, black. Technically, how blue, many? Oh, hold on. Hold your horses. Clear or how, blue, which how I do many, like. How many green? Current, how many current safaris colors do we have right now? I uh, bet you'll be surprised. Uh, several. 
fewer than 10. Uh, like regular editions or yes. special editions? Any, anything on our site right now. I have to look it up. I'm guessing fewer than 10. I think it's way more competitive than you think it is. Um, I'm showing 16. Six. Oh, 16. 16 total right. when I do okay. the search. But there are some special editions in there. Okay. And there's a oh, couple oh. of sets. Okay, so if you okay. remove the special editions. Okay, the special editions, let's see here. Well, we got some older special editions that are kind of still hanging around here. Oh, because no one wants them. Because they made enough of them. Oh, well. For them to stick around. They also made enough of the... The swipe Ford Edsel. I, the, I don't know. They made too many Ford Edsel. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wanted those. <laughs> Are you comparing a Safari to an Edsel? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Safari. I don't mean it. Wow. Oh man, but uh, it's it's more competitive than you would think. Like Twisby, I think has like mm. six, seven colors for their swipe. Of currently available, they don't have six or seven. Get out of here. They have six. How many swipes? Are they? No. They no. Come on. No, you're six. One of us is remembering six. wrong. Five. Six. Five. All oh, right. Five. Okay. Black, that's, blue, salmon. That's basically that's seven. That's a winner. Ice blue, which I do like. They called it something Imperial different green. overseas. It was much more appealing. It was like coral or something nice. Instead not, of salmon. Not salmon. Salmon is not the most appealing. No, I don't want not. A, I don't want a pen that's named after fish. Yeah. It just doesn't. Unless it's barracuda. I mean, that is a cool Because that's a cool fish. That's a cool fish. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, Pros and cons on both sides. All right. I don't know who They're won. both great starter pens. <laughs> they both have their pluses and minuses. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed.